it. You gonna hold it or you gonna throw it? You got to hold it now. You can't throw it. Hold it. Good job. Hold it right here. Just like that. Nope. See though? You can't do that. No, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take it to Bubba. <laughs> Take it to Bubba. Throw it. <laughs> Good pass. <laughs> yeah, I can do that with it for a little minute. Let's see how it works out. Let's get it. All right. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but uh, this might be the most important man to ever touch the studio right now. <laughs> we got oh, Mr. Man. Mr. Keith, Mr. Keith Crawford. What's going on? Man, what's going on, man? Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Happy to be here. Uh, I appreciate you for bringing your sons to the studio, and I appreciate you for taking a seat to get this interview yeah. right now. Man, it's all love, man. Um. Yeah. Everybody kind of know, well, not everybody. So, you know, certain people know your background. Kind of give us a brief introduction of uh, who you are and a uh, little bit of what you do. Yeah. Uh, with Keith, man, Crawford. Um, played at East. Three years started at East High School. Came out in 99. Uh, left East, Dad, Dad. went to University of Missouri, Dad. got us some trouble in Missouri, uh, unfortunately, ended up going to school in Mississippi, um, went down there to Mississippi, uh, to Glue College, uh, four years started there, um, man, helped Tougaloo get their first championship ever, okay. um, Came back to Memphis, well, once I left Tougaloo, I played on this like, Mississippi Hard Hats ABA team for a couple of years. Okay. Um, went overseas for a couple of years. Um, went to Spain. Uh, played over there. Great experience. Ended up having knee surgery from playing over there. Came back home. Um, hmm? Okay. Uh, end up, yeah. you know, reconnecting yeah. with, with, with yeah. Kenny, huh? Okay. End up reconnecting with Penny, uh, yeah. which is my cousin. Yeah. We all from being yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Get the bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got done playing overseas from having knee surgery. Um. Came back to Memphis, um, connected back with Penny. Um, Penny ended up coaching at my high school. Well, actually, the middle school that I went to, okay. uh, which was Leicester. Okay. And uh, once we got to Leicester, um, he ended up being over there for, you know, three years. Um, then he went to East. <laughs> so we went to East from Leicester to East. It was just a blessing that I had the opportunity to work with him, and why he was, you know, he went to my my schools basically. Okay. Um, man, it was great. You know, great experience. Um, work with Team Penny as well. Um, assisted him with that. Um, and and we still moving forward now to this day. Uh, I mean, it's, it's been a great journey so far. Okay. Um, I mean, the position that you're in now, you know, I mean, it is since, I guess some people can say it's a gift, is a curse. And when I say by curse, I don't mean as in a bad thing, but I'm talking more as in, you know, sometimes people want to want to have that certain position to deal with certain spotlight players or NBA yeah. players or even like rappers and stuff, but they don't understand the 
tragedy and scheduling and right. stuff. And that's when I say it's a, it's a gift because it's a good opportunity, but it's a curse mm-hmm. because of scheduling and timing and mm-hmm. and just having to have everything on its P's and Q's. Right, right. Um, you in that certain position where, you know, a lot of people dream, but maybe not prepared for it. Yeah. And, um, this is, you know, you may have got criticism about it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you don't have to go too deep into it, but, uh, just kind of tell how did it help you as a person, especially with you just starting. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if you had the same mindset back then, but you might've dealt with some things that helped you mature. Um, when I first initially started working with Penny, for an example, um, he really groomed me and and I had to, everything was so much really done on the fly with him, I had to figure it out fast. Okay. Um, it was really like, like you mentioned for an example, the scheduling. I had to really change everything that I did or that I do on a daily, for an example, uh, to accommodate everything that was needed with each team penny. Uh, Lester, for an example, uh, I mean, it it was, it kind of prepared me, you know, from how it was when we were growing up for the different obstacles that we face, you know what I'm saying, or that we have to deal with, or making adjustments on the fly, you know, uh, he can call me, I will have to literally drop everything I'm doing, mm-hmm. you know, and, and make a few call, phone calls to make adjustments in my personal life, for an example. Um, you know, to make everything straight, uh, mm-hmm. get everything good. Um, and I mean, the process for me is, is having him uh, in my corner um, and going through these different things as far as like with AU, for an example, with my boys. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, everybody know I've been a part of Team Penny. And um, I didn't think that it would be like this okay. you know this early um i'm thinking that you know once our kids for an example get to you know eight nine ten you know eleven <laughs> <laughs> but man it's 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 different you know yeah. um it's different it really is and and every parent wanted for their kid right now you know um and that's what makes it so unique okay <clears throat> So, uh, to kind of piggyback a little bit, uh, I know with Penny, but uh, kind of explain, I mean, if you if you knew him kind of per- personally, the guy that really made all this happen, you know who I'm going to go to, uh, Mr. Mr. Merriweather. Yeah, Come. man. Uh, Dez, man, he was, <laughs> Dez was just influential to all of us in his own way because I never forget, um, I was at, um, we was at Ridgeway. Okay. Uh, this is before Penny got into anything. Okay. As far as coaching with the kids, you know, any of that. And, um, we were hooping. I was up there watching them hoop. They were hooping. All right. Um, and Dad's man was, you know, that's when he first got diagnosed with cancer. All right. So at that time, they had gave him, uh, I think it was 72 hours to live. So I'm chopping it up with P after they got done hooping. Um, I give him a number to reach out to Des. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and that's basically how it happened. Uh, we had a, um, so once Des, you know, he, so to speak, at that time, he, um, uh, he, he extended his lifeline, um, meaning he beat the 72 hours that they gave him. Mm-hmm. So a couple of years had went by, and we had a uh, a um, celebration for him at Leicester Community Center. Okay. So we got P to come up there to participate in it and, and you know, show love, of course, as he always done for the hood. And uh, Dez invited him over to Leicester. Okay. <laughs> and and once he went over there, man, the 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 very first day, you know, that's when A Lo them they was in middle school, sixth grade, 
uh, Nick Merriweather, uh, Radarius Washington, which is everybody know him as Pig, you know, Robert, uh, Quincy, all them was over there. And um, he just fell in love with the kids, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> at that time, Penny was just hooping. He was training uh, a lot of the elite players in the city, you know, Taylor, uh, AJ. Like, he was just, you know, LK. He was just training folks throughout, you know, throughout his day, other than him playing golf. Uh, so when he went over there to Leicester, man, and, and, you know, he fell in love with those kids. It was just, it was just history from that point on. Okay. Um, and I mean, the funny thing about it, everybody, everybody read about it. You know, a lot of people heard about it, but I'm here to tell y'all. Everything that's happening right now, mm -hmm. these people, as in Penny and Dez, and myself and a few other people that's in the circle literally talked about this. Yeah, like, I, I, I've, I've heard, you know, f from a close friend of mine, I won't say his name, but uh, he said this this was this was been planned. And then, you know, what's what's kind of funny? I mean, you know, <laughs> Memphis always been my favorite team. Even for, just for Penny to, to be there, it was just really the icing on the cake for me. But, I mean, this is just me. For this year to have that that team, and then to have his best friend's yeah. son actually walk on the team, yes. and then bring and yeah, bring a championship. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's just to show you the type of person that he is, and and you know the love that he had for the city. Um, I mean, I really wanted him to go to Orlando, um, because and this this my own reason. I know the path and the things that were talked about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, me being selfish, <laughs> just being real, I was like, man, I want this for my cousin. He deserve it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna really come around again. You know what I'm saying? So, for you to have the opportunity to go where you played it, then let's let's go. You know, um, but. I really had to think about it and look at it from his point of view. Penny loved Memphis, man. I mean, and and he want to bring a championship here. Yeah. And 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 uh, that was also part of the plan. Okay. It was, the plan wasn't just for him to come to Memphis, coach, and win the NIT championship, which was great. Yeah. You know, which is um, a step a step forward. Yeah. So he really wants to win a national championship. For the city, and and you know, if that opportunity is there after he's done that, then I'm sure he's gonna take it. Okay. <clears throat> um. How do you feel with with him even coaching, and to still be able to get certain recruits due to all the outside sources from overtime, mm -hmm. from G League? Overseas, they could take these players and give these kids so much more money and opportunities that Penny can't give them because of certain rules. Yeah, and to still be able to draft these kids, does that show what type of influence <clears throat> he has uh, on these on this younger generation? Because he's basically like he's basically Jordan. Mm -hmm. He's basically Jordan without the <clears throat> rings. Yeah, um, most definitely. Um, I mean, it, he's always been an influential person. Um, him just being Penny, anyway. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the kids now, um, they would have to basically, you know, refer to YouTube or um, their parents may know of him, because a lot of the kids really hadn't seen him play. Mm -hmm. You know, they just know that he's Penny Hardaway and heard different things. You know, the, the shoe line and things like that. Um. But that he he's a beast, man. You know, and, and to me personally, Memphis hasn't seen his best coaching yet. You know, um I can see that I can say that. Um and that's the great part and that's why I'm so excited about this year. Because now he he really has all his players that he brought in. 
He, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying that he's 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 recruited himself. Last year he did, of course, when we had the number one recruit class. But when you lose a kid like James Wiseman, I mean, that's the place. Uh, yeah. You know, we all have the next man up mentality. But losing the number one player in the country, I mean, come on, I mean, that's that's that speaks for itself. It's gonna put a dent in whatever program you have. He practically got East in the starting. Line. He got East in the line. Though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, most definitely. <laughs> But I mean, uh, man, dude, he he really a beast, man, and and I'm 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 excited about this year, you know, with him bringing Jonathan Chandler and Jonathan in, um, along with you know with the pieces that we already had, uh, so it's it, it's gonna be interesting. The people people really gonna really get to see, you know, what he brings to college basketball from the coaching side. I mean, we all know now. That he can get players, mm-hmm. um, um, but they really gonna see now from a coaching standpoint, you know, uh, how he was one of the greats to ever do it in the game, you know, and now he gonna be able to put it on the court and, and put it in his players, and, and it's it's gonna be a beautiful thing to watch. I can't wait. Okay. <clears throat> um. So now, that's kind of. Let's jump off Memphis, even though I love talking about Memphis. We gotta jump <laughs> off Memphis. <laughs> I, I sound like the group now. I gotta, I gotta get off Memphis. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's get, let's get to the main thing. Mm-hmm. Your sons. Yeah. Still young. I mean, we don't, we don't know, you know, we don't know what may happen. You know, right. You know, kids can just go left or go right. Yeah. You know, they can be good at something, and they're like, hey, you know, I just rather do this, mm-hmm. or I just rather do that. Um, uh, we're having uh two young kids that's pretty pretty good, mm-hmm. nationally known. Um, have them around so many different outlets that a lot of kids can't even pray for. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and not not just you know it's just a blessing, and uh and they, and they still have their head straight. Yeah. Usually when kids be around all that type of stuff, it kind of mess them up yeah. mentally. They're not prepared. Yeah. So how do you prepare your children in not getting caught in the hype mm-hmm. due to kind of like your lifestyle or just who be around you? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just the different conversations that we have daily. You know, um, I take them to the hood um, and and let them see, you know, how me – for an example, and, and Penny, and even like Alo, are the kids that they know and look up to, you know, and see how they were living at one point, or even myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I mean, um, it's really like once I show them and and let them see, hey, this is what this is. This is how this was. You know, this the house that I lived up, that I lived in and grew up in. You know, this is where Uncle Penny lives right here. You know, uh, they they remain humble. Okay. You know, um, and that's what really makes my job easy with them, um, especially Jordan, because Jordan he's he's just he's been here with me the entire time. All he knows is basketball. Um, Jameer he's been kind of back and forth. Mm-hmm. You know, from from Mississippi to. To Memphis, he comes in the summer. So now that we have him full time, it's like I gotta reprogram him and regroom him all over again. Mm-hmm. Um, but with Jordan, he's he's just been locked in. To be honest, man, I never forget we were driving to Indiana with Team Penny, and um, the kid was just Jordan was five at the time. Okay, and he was just so locked in the whole session, like. Um, he was asking me about Marvin Bagley, uh, the third, the kid that played for Sacramento. Okay. Um, like he, it was just a, 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 a ton of talent out there, you know, and he was doing his homework at five years old. Okay. And, uh, so he had a phone at five. So he started, um, looking these kids up okay. and, 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 you know, trying to see what's up with them and, and, you know, um, it's, it's, I ask them to be honest once a month. You know, hey, you guys still want to do this? Uh, I'm not making y'all do this. This is this is you all choice. You know, 
I've been in a situation to where I've been, you know, fortunate to have them around the game, but I'm not making them play the game. So, I mean, uh, I, I let them make their decision, man, when it comes to it. And, and you know, as Joy mentioned, and Jameer, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I, that's why I give so much credit to Hunt. Okay. You know, because Hunt, he, he, he makes it easy for me. You know, uh, of course, I put my hands on him. Uh, when we in the gym and when we can't get the hunt for an example, but hunt man, I get that dude with a lot of credit, you know. Um, you know, of course, along with Penny and, and the other people that they've been around, the James and, and you know, the A Lows and all, it's just been a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> for real, I can name so many people, man, that's been so influential other than myself, you know, it's, it's, it's just been, man, it's been great. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, a wild summer. Uh, I, I guess for I guess you could say for yourself, but basically for your kids, uh, because they don't want on the court, but you're you're the support system in a sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, from having uh Kendrick Perkins shout out the team, yeah, and uh, just kind of talk about how AAU has changed, but then also give y'all the respect because y'all uh, I guess keeping. <laughs> The old school and respect in the game, in yeah. a sense, and not cheating and, and so so. Right. Um, just kind of explain. I mean, you deal with this stuff all the time, but maybe how Jordan may have felt when he seen that, or or whatever the case may be. Um, he was motivated. He 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 felt good about it. You know, um, Kendrick shouted us out. Uh, we went to Dallas and we won one of the biggest tournaments. Uh, in the country, um, it was the Great School Elite Tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, that weekend, we 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 hosted all. We played all the top teams from AMG. They're out of Dallas, mm-hmm. Kansas United, uh, Kendrick team, of course, mm-hmm. uh, JL three, um, Oklahoma Chios. Like we we literally man just. It was a great weekend, you know, for Memphis Heat Prep. And those kids, they, how they responded, I've seen a Dutch respond like that. Yeah. Like, when I say a Dutch, I mean younger Dutch. Like, mm-hmm. you know, from, from Team Penny and, and East. Yeah. And I'm just sitting there looking and like, man, these, these are some real special kids. You know, if we can keep this group together, for an example, and... and and everybody stay within, man, the sky's the limit with them. Um, it, it was it was fun. It was exciting. You know, uh, the kids, all of them, you know, they're they very humble. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they respect their opponents. Um, and that's what makes it fun. You know, uh, last November we went to a camp called... Um, uh, T3 TV uh, featured by top 25 scouts okay and uh, Jordan made the all-star team and um, he created after the game and they got their all-star rings you know because they won the championship and he created this group chat uh, with all the kids that was on his team okay. and and they from everywhere Las Vegas, Ohio, Indiana, uh, everywhere. And these kids are still in touch with each other every day, you know, to this day. And that's what, you know, I just love to see that about them itself. But it just shows you where where his mind is. He, he's, he don't think about the city. He think it's national. Okay. <laughs> he said his uh, favorite player from East is Alo. He kind of, uh, well, at least from you telling me them stories, he kind of um, kind of remind me of Alo. I don't know Alo personally, but I know Alo is a very humble guy. When I first met him, he wasn't arrogant. Mm. Kind of, you know, kind of welcomed me in like he like he knew me. Yeah. And uh, one thing about Alo, and I mean a lot of people criticize Alo with his size yeah. and all that, but I mean yeah. they just say he's pretty much defense, but. On the outside looking in, people don't understand his leadership is what changes the game. Even from that year 
of me recording those Memphis games mm-hmm. and watching him getting those guys together that they never played. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he kind of was their glue. He might not have been the offensive power, but he definitely was their glue. So a lot of people be like, why they keep why they keep an Alo out there? Yeah. Like you don't understand. Like actually sitting on his sideline and watching him bringing them in every play yeah. and talking to them and calming some down right. and letting them know what's going right. on. Right. It, it's even if they lose, it could have been a lot worse if he wasn't on the floor. Mm-hmm. Cause a lot of people, cause now a lot of people say even me, uh, we wouldn't have lost that game in Houston if he would have been out there. I totally agree. Um, Alo is a kid that everyone needs in a locker room. Um, people always, you know, look at things from a scoring standpoint, but it's not, it's not about all that, you know. Uh, he he is really the kid that's gonna do whatever it takes to win, whether it's him scoring, you know, whether it's him rebounding. Uh, he gonna run the team. Uh, he gonna be vocal. That's one thing that we always got on him about from middle school to high school to even now was being a leader. So now he's embraced it and and he's carrying it out. Um, so yeah, a lot of people talk about his size and and you know. Um, how he's not a, a consistent jump shooter, for an example, um, but he knows Penny's system. Oh, yeah. You know, Penny can trust him. Penny can walk to the locker room if he got kicked out the game, for an example. He knows that I got I got my other coach on the floor, which is Alo, or whatnot. So I mean, um, you can't teach that. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can't teach what he brings. So I mean. Um, it, it's 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 been a pleasure, man, with him. You know, he he's in my family. Mm-hmm. You know, even though we not blood related, um, I love the kid. Picking him up, taking him to school every day when he was in high school. Um, I mean, my son love him. Um, before we came to Heat Prep, number two wasn't available. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's that's the number Jordan won all his. You know, <laughs> since he been hooping, he won number two for Alo. Um, and I mean, it's 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 just been, you know, dude is is he's a great kid, man. I love him. He's humble. Um, I mean, he still got a chance, I think, to make some money playing basketball. You know, yeah. in my oh, yeah, opinion. Definitely. Um, so I mean, you can't like I say, you can't you can't teach what Alo bring. You know, it's it's all heart, and 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 I love that about him. Okay. <clears throat> Well, Keith, you know I ain't gonna hold you up. I just appreciate you uh, for coming out here, dropping a little knowledge, and then also giving you know a little bit of the backstory of what's going on. Um, you no know, dealing with everything, the COVID. We don't know what's gonna happen, mm-hmm. and uh, hopefully we get to see a season. And uh, we just want to try to keep these kids safe. But, man, uh, I hope so. I hope so, man. It's tough right now, man. I mean. Um Everybody know I'm, I'm I'm a family oriented guy, and I have my kids with me everywhere I go. Okay. Um, so I mean that that that's my number one thing, especially with my daughter, her being one. Mm-hmm. Um, that it's 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 a lot going on, but we understand that, you know. So we just got to continue to you know stay prayed up and and practice social distance and you know do what we supposed to do as adults. And and I mean, yeah, I think everything will be good. Okay. Uh, we're going to end it off like this, though, since it's getting close to the end of the year. You can kind of tell them about your business. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> uh, man, uh, I got my own text business. Um, I've been doing texts now for about 10 years. Uh, I've been locked in a little more uh, since Penny transitioned over to Memphis because I've been a little more flexible. Um, but... I mean, Tax Coach is the name of my business. Uh, you can Instagram me. I am Lakeith. My Facebook name is Lakeith Crawford. Uh, any questions, any assistance regarding your taxes, hit me up. I got you. You know, I don't have to have been done your taxes to, to assist you. I like helping people uh, no matter what. Uh, so I help people all the time. So I mean, like I said, any questions, I let me. I got you. All right, like that, y'all. We out. We appreciate y'all. 
Like and subscribe. Show some love. We're going to have some more heat coming soon.